Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Thursday, October 20th, 2022. So Monday we got a pop or a great big gap up and then kind of went nowhere. Tuesday we had a pop and drop pattern. Wednesday, we gapped down and then just chopped in a very light volume day. So what, what can we expect for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. My goodness, we have had a week of volatility and uncertainty, and, and it's, it's understandable. We continue to see bond yields rising. We continue to see currencies fluctuating. Lots of uncertainty out of the UK uh, political situation. We've got the Japanese yen at 150, 150 Japanese yen to a US dollar. Currencies continue to flutter all over the place as the dollar strengthens. And well, that's an awful lot for the emotion wrapped around earnings to overcome. So let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today now although yesterday was really frustrating in its choppiness and and um, kind of drifting along a nature that we had yesterday but the good news here on the diamonds anyway well we really didn't hurt the the chart at all as a matter of fact we just kind of sat right there on that support area as our currency, um, the US dollar continued to rise and we had um, our bond yields shooting up. Um, kind of an interesting situation with a potential um, currency liquidity crisis starting to develop around the world. Um, and here we have earnings and then we continue to try and get the hype and the pump and the talking head spin on earnings adding all of this emotion in here um, so we kind of held on to some support in that chart now if we take a look um, here in the diamonds if we can get bullish inspiration today then we might look for another attempt to run up here and attack some of those resistance levels in the chart we might also see um, if the bears have reason for inspiration we could easily fail through this level of price support and maybe reach down into uh, the next level of price support and it's entirely possible that we just spend our time here with all of this uncertainty chopping sideways in the market. What an interesting market situation we have today. And it really is a toss up as to what happens and how the market may react to some of the data coming our way. Let's take a look at our SPY. SPY is maybe a little bit less confident. If you notice right in here, if I draw a trend line uh, down through here, you can see that, well, we've just kind of run into some price resistance. And right in here, we're struggling with that price resistance in the chart. However, if you were to draw that trend line like this, you can see that we've broken above that downtrend here in the chart, but we still have that uncertainty in here with a possible lower high being made in the market after the lower low was made here um, just last week. So, boy, it's a tough one to decipher what comes next here. As you can see, um, at the close yesterday, we ended up holding right, right there at that little price support. So once again, we have that possibility that we could be range bound in this little area right in here where we could chop in this range. If the bulls can find inspiration in the data today, maybe we rally up here and retest that resistance level. And if the bears find inspiration, well, then we would look maybe to some support levels in here that we could test if we drift lower. So, wow, um, lots of uncertainty in that chart. And it's really difficult to see any kind 
of directional bias uh, by this market. It's just chop, chop, chop. If we take a look at our QQQ, the uncertainty continues here in the QQQ, and unfortunately, it remains the weakest of the indexes out there. If we draw our trend line here, you can see um, we have yet to break through that downtrend. So this resistance right here is something we're going to have to continue to pay attention to. And although we ended up with kind of a shooting star uncertain pattern there yesterday, um, it did not fail this um, little area of price support in the chart. So once again, with that uncertainty that we see in the market, if we can find some bullish inspiration, well, maybe we try to push this up here, maybe challenge that downtrend. If the bears find inspiration, then of course we have that opportunity that we can break this support and maybe start heading back down toward market lows. And then again, we could just continue this spinny, um, uncertain price action in here and stay locked in a sideways range of uncertainty. Um, IWM, well, IWM has been the strongest of the index uh, indexes, but yesterday kind of took the worst of the selling. You can see it ended up closing just a little bit lower. As a matter of fact, um, during the day, it saw a little bit of pressure and pain in there. But if we take a look at this trend right here, we had popped through that trend and we might be giving that trend up. We popped through that downtrend anyway, and we might be giving it up in yesterday's price action. This morning, you can see we're trying to pump it up again in the pre-market and get something going. So let's watch this area right in here for a little bit of price resistance now. If we can find that bullish inspiration, well, maybe we punch through that and see if we can come back up here and test that level. If the bears um, stay engaged here on uh, the Russell, then we might look for this area of price support to try and hold. If it fails, then I would suggest we're going to test some more support levels in the chart. So again, just kind of spinning around in this uncertainty with a whole lot of global issues out there creating um, havoc among uh, amongst the investors. They, they want to be bullish. They want to try and um, respond bullishly to um, earnings reports. But then, well, we get a mix in those earnings reports. We get a mix in the, da the data, and then we just kind of falter. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX yesterday was a back and forth um, action here on the VIX, but nothing really much was resolved. We ended up closing down with a surge right at the end of the day, closing just a little bit lower, but um, notice um, that we were still higher than the day before. If I draw a trend line up here, we're still trying to sneak down below that um, upside trend here in the VIX. And this morning we're trying to pump it up in the pre-market, so if that holds, then we have that opportunity opportunity that maybe, maybe we can break down this trend here in the chart. Let's keep in mind we've got a little bit of price support in the chart here and a bigger level of price support right across here Well, that we'll have to deal with as we move along. If that fear creeps back in, if we bounce back up in here in this chart, again, we'll want to watch this level up here because we could really get some panic starting to show up if our fear starts to pop through that level. So watch that carefully. Our T2122 was, uh, it continues to be quite interesting. Um, yesterday, we popped up um, um, in, in, the, in that move and um, we continued to test this resistance area here of the um, overbought condition here in T2122. Um, um, about midday yesterday, our T2122 had drawn all the way down into this range um, with that selling that it came in. And then by the end of the day, we pushed her back up. So we're kind of sitting here, well, just above the middle range in the chart. So remember, T2122 doesn't give us direction. It just tells us where those points of pressure are. So if, if we can find that bullish inspiration, and these are just those big ifs that we continue to deal with, then we certainly have upside opportunity if we can find that bullish inspiration in the data today. And if those bears find inspiration, we've certainly opened up that opportunity for those bears to 
to push on down. We just need to catch some kind of commitment from one of the one of the others to pick a direction here um, already and and stop this um, intraday whipsaws and and reversals. Um, that is making it very, very challenging for traders. So watch that close. Our T2108, T2108 perked up um, the day before yesterday and then we gave back some yesterday. Um, yesterday just gave up a little bit. But the good news is we didn't give up so much that really changed the direction in here. We just kind of languished yesterday um, in a low volume chop. Notice we've got some price resistance in that chart. We're still holding above some price support levels in the chart. So we got to we got to kind of give that one up to the bulls. They held in there pretty well yesterday. And as you can see, still challenged with that downtrend. So we've got some work here to do. Um, 33, 34 percent of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. Our T2107, well, T2107 also gave up a little bit yesterday, just kind of hooking over on the top. But we have that good news in here where we've broken out from underneath that little trend. And so far, we've held on to this price support in the chart. Unfortunately, the bigger trend, we still have some questions on that bigger long term trend. We're still struggling in here, trying to break through that area and break through these resistance that levels in the chart so there's still some question in here and 26 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 well not exactly bullish but it is you know fingers crossed a little bit of hopefulness that those bulls are trying to hold up and continue uh, the relief rally despite the uncertainties that we see in the market if we take a look at I'm not I'm gonna skip over t2101 today because the volume was so low yesterday if we look at the diamonds volume was just really really low until the last few minutes of the day we picked up a little bit but as you can see uh, diamonds um, pretty darn low in volume yesterday spy very low QQQ very low on the day so not much in there to really inspire that t2101 to give us some um, momentum direction it's just kind of momentum has kind of died on the vine here as we're trying to figure out what comes next um, let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and these are the pressure points that we're going to have to deal with this morning um, uh, certainly jobless claims and remember in these numbers right now particularly in jobs um, good news is bad news. So if jobs were to improve, um, the consensus is suggesting they decline a little bit. But if jobs were to continue to stay strong, that's bad news for the market because that says the Fed has got full reign to continue to be um, raising those rates. So watch that closely. Good news is bad news. Bad news is good news for the market. So if that number comes in much weaker than expected, uh, meaning a lot more um, initial jobless claims coming in, then uh, that could actually be bullish for the market. Philly Fed, we're going to have to watch that one pretty closely. We've seen some pretty darn ugly um, manufacturing numbers and although the consensus is suggesting that increases stays a negative number but improves just a little bit we'll want to watch that closely because some of the other manufacturing numbers that we saw this um, week uh, did not improve so watch that close and then existing home sales I think we can kind of expect our home sales situation is not improving that kind of points to recession if those numbers uh, continue to decline right now the consensus is suggesting about a uh, well decline of about a million in those home sales so watch that closely again that just leans toward that recession fear and we'll have to see how that impacts the market this morning uh, the rest of the day we've got a natural gas report unlikely that moves the market a whole bunch a couple little short-term bond auctions um, we've got a tips auction and we've got several fed speakers and boy they just can't seem to stop talking um, and right now 
they continue to suggest more interest rates, um, higher interest rates are on the way. So keep an eye on that. As we slide into Friday, though, we have a little bit of a break. Notice we've just got a Fed speaker and Baker Hughes rig count in here. I think we've got um, kind of a light day on Friday that might actually be able to provide us a little bit of relief and maybe we can go into the end of the week um, with a little bit of hopefulness of um, earnings rally so watch that carefully let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today and it's a busy one we're really starting to ramp up on that earnings calendar so keep in mind i can't cover everything that um, is showing up in the calendar today but a few things we'll want to be paying attention to this morning some of the pre-market um, um, earnings reports um, AT&T you'll want to keep an eye on that we're going to hear from Dow Chemical here this morning it looks like Dow Chemical is looking for a little bit of downside move here on that um, this morning we're going to hear from some regional banks um, here later today we've got um, FCX that will be reporting this morning you'll want to keep an eye on that we've got Philip Morris reporting this morning looks like they're trying to move up just a little bit here in the pre-market. Um, this afternoon, we're going to hear from companies like uh, Pool, probably our bigger tech um, notable this morning or this afternoon would be Snap. Keep an eye on that. We're also going to hear from um, Tractor Supply um, uh, this afternoon and Whirlpool. Um, will be in the news today as well so if you want to catch the full list of notables guys click the link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get that full list of notable tickers so let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you can please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful helpful I really do appreciate it when you click those thumbs up buttons and leave those brief comments it's the engagement with the video that helps the channel to grow thank you so much for everyone who does do that I do truly appreciate it let's take a look at a few stocks that well might be setting up we're gonna to have to be really really careful with the volatility that we see in the market some of these are are those past earnings things that are uh, perking up that maybe we can keep an eye on some of the uh, defensive sector stocks are also looking reasonable for upside trends and then we've got maybe some tech that is still looking pretty ugly to the downside so let's let's dive into a few of those and let's remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you've got to make sure that you're doing your own due diligence and never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea make sure it fits your or personal risk tolerance and your trading plan let's take a look um, Netflix had a really good earnings report and uh, popped up here pretty strongly so let's keep an eye on Netflix here um, breaking through into this gap in the chart is bullish for Netflix now what I would want to see I don't want to chase this move it's too far away from a stop loss if you're not already in it if you're looking for an entry let the this rest or pull back if we were to consolidate and pull back and even test this area for price support then look for that next opportunity long in here if I draw this trend you can see that may take a little bit of time we could pull back we could go sideways and wait for this trend to come into play a little bit and then look for that next opportunity here in Netflix to the upside we will want to keep in mind that there uh, we've got quite a bit of price resistance above in that level right there so look for that rally up into there and then maybe a hesitation a pause or a long consolidation um, let's take a look at uh, some of the uh, defensive sector stocks um, KHC now KHC got a big upgrade in um, price and you can see we've moved up pretty substantially and we continue oops, sorry that's a two-day chart we continue to show um, 
um, um, that upside momentum here in this move. We're going to want to watch this price resistance level here in the chart as we rally up. So any rest consolidation in here where we kind of drift sideways or consolidate this move may set up more upside opportunity here into KHC. I wouldn't want to chase it right into the price resistance, but keep an eye on that. We're also seeing stocks like Colgate Palmolive. Well, <laughs> Yesterday it was trying to move and I guess we pulled back at the end of the day. But watch this carefully in here. You notice this pattern. We may be setting up an inverted head and shoulders pattern in here. So if this rests or pulls back, consolidates right into this area and holds, then look for that opportunity to the upside. Notice we're kind of slipping out from underneath that downtrend here on Colgate Palmolive. And what we're starting to see is some of these good strong dividend payers are perking up and doing pretty well. Today we're going to hear from Philip Morris and notice it's popping up here this morning a bit on its earnings report. These are good dividend payers and if um, the market is uncertain, one of the reasons I think we're starting to see some of these perk up in here is just simply because um, the markets are, uh, or investors are looking for a little bit of a safe haven play where they can pick up some defensive stock um, or um, dividend yield. These have already sold off pretty strongly and that gives us a pretty good opportunity to maybe pick up some safe haven type trades in here. So watch that. Uh, 3M might be another one to, to keep an eye on. Um, let's take a look at Merck. Um, Merck uh, popped up yesterday, um, slammed its head directly into a major price resistance area in the chart and pulled back pretty strongly. But that doesn't mean that the upside move on this is over. Resistance is doing its job, so watch this carefully in here. If Merck were to pull back but still hold some, some support in here, that may set up that next opportunity to possibly push through to new highs. Or we could just consolidate this move across here and still push through to those new highs. So keep an eye on stocks like Merck. They're really trying to get something going here. And that really follows through with what Eli Lilly has been doing. Eli Lilly broke through that resistance up here um, to some highs. We're still struggling in this area of consolidation, but watch that carefully if Eli Lilly can push on through. Um, certainly, in an, in, in, even in a, in a global recession, we're going to need healthcare stocks. So watch that closely. Now, on the short side of things, guys, I think we have to keep an eye on some of these um, tech sector stocks. Um, Microsoft. Um, although Microsoft is, is uh, making some changes, um, we saw that they made some news on layoffs, we still have quite a little bit of price resistance in this chart to deal with. And that uncertainty that we see out there around the world in tech continues to plague some of these stocks. So watch these closely for that possibility. If this were to break that support in here, then we might go on down and test this area. And then again, if you're very, very bullish on the chart, then you might want to watch and wait for that possibility that this could be building out that next shoulder here for an inverted head and shoulders. The problem I have with this on Microsoft is we still are maintaining that downtrend. So we've got to we've got to see a little bit of bullishness come in here to really turn that around to the bullish side. I have to kind of lean into the short side of that. Anything in the semiconductor area, um, take a look at AMD. Um, AMD still looking very, very bearish despite all the upside opportunity um, that it's been um, afforded with the talking heads and analyst upgrades. This still sets up as a potential short to the downside. So watch that close. NVIDIA would be another one of those. I would be watching pretty closely. All we've done so far in this chart is rally back to price resistance and that really lends itself to that next opportunity for a downside move. So watch some of those charts for that potential short. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to ask you to be very, very careful in this market. You know, if you're uncomfortable with the wild volatility, if you're struggling in here, there's no shame in backing off and standing aside and letting some of this shake out. Remember, if this is a market bottom, the bottoming process in a, a market 
is very challenging and very volatile. We have to wait for that proof that institutions are actually supporting some of these stocks before you rush in. Don't be the sacrificial lamb that runs right into resistance areas of a chart and then we get that reversal and the bear market stays in play. So just be really, really careful. With that, guys, have an awesome day. See you back here bright and early for Friday morning. I want to wish you all of the best. Take care.